Skipper key. A skipper key, slash skipper key slash, Dutch, is a small Belgian breed of dog that originated in the early 16th century. There has been a long informal debate over whether this type of dog is a spitz or miniature sheepdog. In their home country of Belgium they are considered a small shepherd. Description. Their small, pointed ears are erect atop the head. Shipper keys are double coated with a soft, fluffy undercoat that is covered by a harsher feeling and longer outer coat. One of the breed characteristics is a long ruff that surrounds the neck and then a strip trails down towards the rear of the dog. They also have longer fur on their hind legs called culottes. The breed is black, or blonde, some blondes have a silkier coat, and the coat is shiny. Dogs of this breed usually weigh 3 to 9 kilograms, 6.6 to 19.8 pounds. Puppies are born with tails in different lengths. However, they are among those dogs with a natural bobtail C189G mutation. In Canada and the United States, the tail is usually docked the day after birth. In countries that have bans on docking, shipper keys display their natural tails, which vary in type. Known for a stubborn, mischievous, and headstrong temperament, it also chases small animals. The skipper key is sometimes referred to as the little black fox, the Tasmanian black devil, or the little black devil. They are naturally curious and high-energy dogs and require ample exercise and supervision. Shipper keys are very smart and independent, and sometimes debate listening to owners, instead choosing to do whatever benefits them the most, and are not necessarily the proper dog for a first-time dog owner. Shipper keys require training in a secure, fenced-in space in which to run. They are formidable barkers and can be aggressive with other dogs. Otherwise they are overall good dogs, and their personality is a matter of how they are raised, and who they are around. They often have a high prey drive, focusing on rodents and small animals, and can excel at obedience and agility competitions. Health The skipper key has no particular health problems. The UK Kennel Club survey puts the median lifespan of the breed at 13 years old, with about 20% living to 15 years or more. Of the 36 deceased dogs in the survey, the oldest dog was 17 and a half years old. Nonetheless, inactivity, lack of exercise and overfeeding are very harmful, and can lead to joint and skeletal problems in tooth, heart, lung or digestive conditions. Skipper Key's primary orthopedic problem tends to be luxating patella and leg perthes syndrome. Some Shipper Keys have demonstrated tendencies to epilepsy, although there are no tests, these seem to be related to genetic transmission. The one caveat to the Skipper Key's good health is MPS5, a genetic mutation that occurs in at most 15% of the total breed population. It only occurs in Shipper Keys. The University of Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine has developed a test for the disease and began accepting samples in April 2003. Clinical signs appear between 2 and 4 years of age, and there are no known cures or treatments. The disease affects balance, negotiation of obstacles, such as stairs, and is similar to such lysosomal storage diseases in humans as Tay-Sachs disease and Goucher disease. The skipper key is also prone to some other physical problems as reported by the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals. Grooming The skipper key does not need expensive or excessive grooming. This breed is a moderate shedder, however, a brush that can reach the undercoat is best. Regular weekly brushing is usually enough to keep the coat in good condition. There is no need for cutting or trimming in the rough, hair around the neck, fluffs up naturally. Shipper keys can blow their coats up to several times a year and usually females more frequently than males. When this happens, they lose their undercoat. Owners typically find warm baths helpful during this time to remove the undercoat, rather than getting fur all over the home. A blown undercoat can last several days or weeks, and can take up to two to three months to grow back. History Shipper keys were first recognized as a formal breed in the 1880s, their standard being written in 1889. Much of what is known of their origins and early history comes from Chasse et Peche, French for hunting and fishing, magazine, articles from which were translated into English and published by the English magazine The Stockkeeper. The breed name of Skipperkey, in English-speaking nations, was thought to mean little boatmen. However while they were occasionally seen on barges it was not their original or primary function, and in the areas of Leuven and Brussels Sheeper, which sounds similar to Shipper, a German shepherd dog is known in Dutch as a Duitse Sheeper, was the word for shepherd, making the name translate as Little Shepherd. Before the name Skipperki was officially taken, the breed was also known colloquially as Spitz or Spitzka, a name commonly used to describe a small dog with pointed ears. They were also occasionally called Mork, 
meaning little black animal. Dachshipperkies are widely referred to in the United States, albeit erroneously, as Belgian barge dogs or Belgian ship dogs. Apparently, however, their history dates to a 17th century black shepherd dog commonly called the Louvenard, a 40 pound dog often found in the Louvain region of Belgium and employed to guard flocks and transport. These dogs are apparently the foundational breed for both the modern, and smaller, Skipperkey and the modern, and larger, Black Belgian Shepherd Dog, also known as the Gronendale. In World War II, the Belgian resistance used the dogs to run messages between various resistance hideouts and cells, to which occupying Nazi forces were none the wiser. In popular culture, a Skipperkey is intermittently featured in the Tiger-centric movie Two Brothers, 2004, and also appears in Daphne du Maurier's short story A Borderline Case, 